Yeah. Speaking of understanding, even the audience seems to be more understanding. There was a time it was seen as a negative for your career if an actor got married. But nowadays, sometimes it's a boost to your career or whatever. It, it seems to have no difference. Do you think that's a change that has happened? And of course, is it a welcome change? What are your thoughts on that? So when I was getting married, um, before we publicly announced it, there was a lot of, you know, chatter about, oh my God, why is she getting married now? She's like, you know, there was a lot of, she's just reaching that phase and all of that. But uh, kudos to the audience, because I think they have evolved. We keep saying, oh, to the directors, producers, or to the actors, or female actors who've taken on that. But kudos to the audience, because they see you as a character. They don't see you as so-and-so who comes from this family or who comes, you know what I mean, when they're watching you. If they see everything else of your personal life, then, then as an actor, we've, we've not done our job. I have to convince you that I am this character. So whether I'm married, whether I'm a mother, whether I'm someone's daughter, whatever that is, that's immaterial in that moment. And um, I think I can say that post-marriage, I've signed two of my biggest films. So I don't think, I think that's, you know, that's changing now. And I think, of course, we have so many actresses. I think all your top actresses today are all married. So yeah. that speaks volumes in itself that, you so know, that's, there's, a, that's a positive change that's come about. Yeah, no, I'm glad it has come about. How do you manage your social media? Do you do it? Do you have a team who does it? Because it's a, that's a job. Like it really is a job. I do it myself. And this is the one job that I have to get better at. Yeah. I was you don't have Insta good game, at it Insta initially. Game. I, have, I don't think I have an Insta game. Right now, my fans are calling me Advani because I've been posting a lot of my ads. And I find that hilarious. That is kind of funny. But like, it's my work. <laughs> I'm proud to share it. We work a lot on all the creatives of those ads as well. Uh, but yeah, I knew, I know I have to get my Insta game up, uh, but it's not someone I put, I mean, it's not something that I put so much thought into because mm -hmm. I'm also at the same time trying to stop being addicted to Instagram. I feel there's so much to achieve and there's so much to do and there's so much to read and there's so much to learn that sometimes Instagram can become a little monotonous with the scrolling and you tend to get distracted. So. Unfortunately, while I'm trying in my personal life to not be so addicted, I'm also losing my Insta game a bit. Yeah. No, let's talk about this thing because I think it's important for the youth. Instagram is extremely popular. Yeah. And, but you as an achiever, as somebody with ambition and a hardworking person, you do feel Instagram can be a distraction or any social media, for example. Could be X or it could be whatever, Facebook, YouTube, all. Yeah, I mean, it depends what you're going there to, I mean, it can, like we say, it can be if you want to, you know, read about certain things, there are beautiful pages which, you know, are, are, are richer and all of that. And then sometimes you want to just scroll and see fun, gupshap or like fashion, all of that. But that can, that can be very time consuming. And also, what you see is the best version of it. Mm. Nobody knows the hard work behind that. Even when we put up our pictures, like we were talking backstage, I mean, that one selfie that I've posted, there are 50 selfies in my, in my photo album. Um, which you have that, rejected. Which didn't make it, which didn't make it. So I feel somewhere, you know, when, when young people are looking, they're always seeing the best version. And I feel that's what Instagram has become. There are few people now who are changing that and, you know, speaking about it or putting, um, or being, trying to be more authentic so that we change these standards and these high expectations or, you know, these unachievable beauty standards and things like that. But, um, but at the same time, there's a lot of work that goes behind the way, whether it's how somebody looks. Like, very recently, I was seeing a post that Hrithik Roshan posted on his training for fighter. And he posted his whole journey about how he, um, you know, gave up so many things to sleep on time, to, to mm. you know, get to his workout, to do his routine. And I... I understand that because that's the discipline it takes for all of us in this profession. It's not, it's not just like you wake, wake up like this and have hair and makeup and it's great. I think there's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes behind everything that you see because it's, it is a visual medium. So you do want to give it your best. You want to set aspirational standards, but without being, um, uh, you know, I mean, like, 
I think to do it in, in a healthy way, but without, without putting the pressure that this is how it's meant to be. But for yeah. us, if, if this is my job and I have to do a, a certain song or a film and look a certain way, I'll put in that discipline. I've done that. I know that's when you, when you ask me, how do we manage it all? It's tough. You've got to prioritize in those times.